once again, and we're going to have a game of stock market for the Acorn BBC Micro. Yes, um, and this is a game request by the Wiccan Wanderer on YouTube. Right, as for the game itself, I used to have the Amstrad CPC 464 version, and it is a great game. Um, also, done a review on it prior to the Amstrad, um, the Commodore 64 version and the ZX Spectrum version. They all play exactly the same, and include. I've had a test run of this. All the games play exactly the same. Do I want instructions? Right, I'll give you a heads up of the game. Feel free to pause it because um, we're not going to read it. So if you want to read the instructions, you can pause the video anytime you want. Um, are you ready for more? Oh, we've got to push yes. Right. Feel free to pause the video. How many players? So that's your instructions. So the object of the game is to buy and sell shares and make a million. Um, but we're not going to play the game all the way through because the game can take forever to play. Um, probably can take up to maybe half hour to an hour to play, depending on how many players you've got. So we're going to have. Or well, you can have up to six players. That's pretty good for the BBC. I think the Amstrad version, you can only have up to four. Um, can't remember the Spectrum or the Commodore 64 version, but you can have up to six players in this version. So we're going to have one player. So I type the name in. So you can have four difficulty levels. I would recommend, if you're starting out on it, put it on easy. Um, so pretty much the same as the rest. Um, so... As you can see, this is your what you can buy. So you can buy lead shares, zinc shares, tin shares, and gold shares, all at different prices. So you can see lead is the cheapest, um, zinc is second, tin is third, and gold is very expensive. We can't afford gold because you your bank, if you, you you start off with a thousand pounds in your bank, I'm presuming that's a thousand pounds. There's no pounds or dollars there. So depending on the country you're in, I suppose you can. Um, adjust the currency how you want it. I'm going to say pounds because I live in the UK. So, first of all, we're going to buy it. Push B for buy. Um, so, we're going to buy some tin. So, we're going to buy free tin. Alright, so again, buy. And we're going to buy some zinc shares. So, we're going to buy four zinc shares. And we're going to buy lead shares. And we're going to buy. Um, for them so we've got 10 pounds in our bank account still and we get a news flash tax refund yes we all like tax refund oh 90 percent of bank balance if i held that money in the bank i would have got a lot more and probably could have fooled the gold but no so because of that i can buy an extra leg and that's exactly what i'm going to do another news flash come and be another tax refund oh we love tax refunds yes 70% 70, 70 of bank balance, oh, can't be bad. So as for that, we're gonna buy lead one again. So, ooh, so that's how much, to the decibel point, how much I've got in my bank account. Um, which is strange, because I started off with a straight thousand, and all um, the market, uh, you know, in straight figures, 10, 50, 250, there's no decimal. No decimal going on there, so I don't know how it's come to this figure. Right, so what we're going to do, obviously I don't want to sell, I don't want to buy. So we're going to quit our turn. So this is going to be the market news, lead up, zinc up, tin up, gold down. Right, so I get interest rate of 20%, that always changes. And so obviously all the, the um, shares change in price, um, goes up, goes down, different figures. Do you want to end the game? No. If you carry, if you push no, the game will carry on playing. So straight away we get a news flash. Capital gains tax investigation. You bastard. A demand of 60%. Fucking tax man. Bastards. So I don't know that zinc. What the hell's going on there? I do not know. Um... But everything is gone up in price. So what we're going to do? That tin's quite expensive. So what we're going to do? Sell tin uh, three because his tin is gone up, up in price. I better get a capital gains tax refund. Thank you. That would come in the right time actually. 
and then you're mere ten percent. All right, I take it. So now we're going to buy gold one. So now we've got a gold share. I notice there's no sound in this game. Um, no, it's not like it's a problem because it ain't a game where you it requires sounds. It's just you know, it's one of these games where you you know buy and sell. You know you don't need sounds, but it just makes it there. It's there to help if you need it, but you don't need it with this game. Um, so how much we got? 115 pounds. So um, so what we're going to do? We're going to end the turn again. Oh, um, quit your turn. Just Q. Lead up, zinc up, tin down, and gold's down again, but only by 75, 13%. So, as we can see, everything is quite high. So, we'll continue with the game and we'll get a new splash straight away. Bonus payment to all tin shareholders, and I fucking haven't got any tins. I sold them all. Bollocks, and I can't afford a tin. Um, I'm not paying tin because it's over the market price. Um, everything besides gold is over the market price but even if I sell all my zincs because they're quite high I ain't going to buy another gold good gold would be a good opportunity to buy you can borrow from the bank but I wouldn't recommend it because you've got to pay it back with interest so what we're going to do we're going to hit our turn again lead up zinc down tin up gold down again Wow, so this gold is going all time down. Oh, so I wonder if it go down um, below the thousands. Well, right, we'll just continue. Um, so everything is quite, especially tin now. That tin is sky high. So I really can't afford anything at the moment. I can, but I don't want to buy because everything's over the market price at the moment. Um, so we're just going to keep what we got. So we're going to quit our turn again. You can do this as many times as you want. You know, there's no uh, time limit to the game or nothing. Basically, it's about making a million pounds or a million whatever on your currency. Um, so, we can continue. News flash already. Bonus payment to all zinc old shareholders. Yes, and I've got four of them. 70%. Look at my money go up in price. Um, zinc is, well, it's about the market price, just a few pence over. And so is lead. Um, zinc's very pricey. Tin's very pricey at the moment. But look at gold. Look at gold. The gold is right down. Um, even if I sold my zinc, I ain't going to be able to afford the gold, which is a shame. Um, because I'll only make about 200. Even if I sell no, so It'd be nice to buy gold, but I don't have any tin shares. So, mm, so what I'm going to do... Maybe buy a zinc. I'll buy two zinc. And maybe buy lead four. And we'll end the turn. Quick. Lead up. Zinc up. It's tin up, tin down, tin down, gold up. So the, oh, gold's gone up considerably. 500 or quid. So but I've still got my one gold. So we'll carry on. For a minute, news flash. Oh, you fucking bastard! Ah, oh, thank you. No demand. You fucking. Uh, so really, how I play the game is try and buy as many shares because I don't want to have money in the bank because you've got the tax man crawling after you. Yeah, we don't like tax men. Oh, I don't like tax men anyway, bastards. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so. What we do, we end the turn because I don't know what's going on with that zinc. That's weird. Um, so, quit the turn again. Lead down. Zinc down. Tin up. Tin's going right up. And gold's gone up to near enough 2,000 now. So, it was down by 800. Now it's gone almost up to 2,000. So, that would probably be a good idea to sell your gold. As the, as it is, but we're not going to because everything is everything is just above the market value at the moment, or tin, especially tin. That's quite a lot. Um, so we quit our turn again. Lead down, zinc down, tin down. 
gold down so everything's coming down um, zinc's at a good I think zinc's good at the moment yeah zinc's at a good price this is under the market um, start of the market value so we'll buy zinc we'll buy maybe five maybe buy four let's get them up to ten I bet that's capital gains Bonus payments for all Zinco shareholders. I've got them just in time. 40%. Oh, brilliant. So I've got them just in time. I think we'll buy some more zinc. Buy zinc. Uh, let's buy five. Newsflash again. Bonus payments for all tin. Well, I ain't got no fucking tin. Uh, so I'm not buying tin because it's too pricey at the moment. So and I'll keep hold of my gold because that uh, gold's come down. So we're end turn again. Um, quit. So lead up, zinc up, tin up, gold up. So everything's gone up again. Um, so basically, this is the game. So you buy and sell shares um, until you make a million. So we're going to quit the game now. So end the game. You can quit the game anytime you want. So you can check out how much you've made. All shares sold off at face value, so I made basically I started off with a thousand. So basically, <laughs> you could say you've won the game, but you're only playing on your own, so it was obvious, really. Um, but playing up to six players, you do play obviously. You don't play um, all at the same time. You take each person takes a turn of playing. So until you. Where, not until you end your turn and the markets go up but it's the first one that makes a million I think it's a very good game um, as for the BBC version they you know all all they all play the same you know it's the same game on any on all of them BBC don't have no sounds um, it's very it looks very basic but mind you so did the Commodore 64 version and the spectrum version they all look pretty basic but they had sounds. The Amstrad CPC version had graphics. It, it was much more detailed. Also had sounds, much better, brilliant sounds on it. So if you was going to play a version of it, I would recommend playing the Amstrad CPC version. But if you've got a BBC, give it a go. It's still a good game to play. Anyway, I'm going to end it now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and goodbye.